I'm Bill Mahoney. And I'm Mark Patton. And today's Thunderdome 35 celebration player we're looking at is Raymond Tut. Uh, King Tut, Mark. Raymond Tut uh, was fourth in the nation in scoring as a junior and had a good year as a senior as well. And I think probably in my time here at UCSB, which goes way back, as does yours, maybe the consummate scorer. Yeah, he could score in a variety of ways. He was a great long distance shooter. Uh, he could also go to the basket. If it weren't really, he had some ankle problems too. He had bone chips in his ankle, which maybe even, who knows what he could have done with, without that. And, and the, all the triple teams he faced uh, during his two years as a gaucho. One of the things he did best, I thought, he was one of those players who could, who could penetrate the lane and score and, get, and, and create contact at the same time. Reminded me a little bit of a guy who we just had the opportunity to see the last couple of years, Orlando Johnson. I think the one memory that stands out for me most with Raymond Tut, though, was a game at Utah State where the Gauchos trailed big time in the second half, as we often did, and Raymond scored 17 straight points to get us back in the game, and we wound up losing a very close game. And even more incredible is he scored 11 of those in the last 66 seconds. That's one thing that I always remember, just a, what a tremendous, and they were doing everything they could to prevent him from getting the ball, and you just hear the Spectrum crowd just scream every time he touched it because he was he was so lights out that night. Yeah, no, he, he, was, he was a big time scorer and probably had he not injured his ankle, might have been an NBA player, but did go on to a great career in Italy for many, many years and, and is one of the great players, frankly, one of the great American players in the history of uh, Italian basketball. I used to get emails from a fan from Italy uh, telling me about the exploits of Raymond Tutt and how much they loved him there because he was such a great personality too. I do remember one time when Jerry Kim was talking about Raymond with him next to him and said, you know, Raymond would be fine with just taking six shots a game if we were to win. And and, and Raymond looked at him and said, six? <laughs> he was a great guy. You know, Raymond actually, his, the first, his first game as a gaucho, which was in the 2006, or excuse me, the 96-97 season, uh, he did not lead us in scoring. We were led by Les Bean, the point guard. And Raymond led us in scoring every other game the rest of that season. Only player in school history to do that. Yeah, just a dynamic person and a dynamic player. We're looking at Raymond Tutt today. Thank you, and that's Thunderdome in 35.